want to do a quick little video to explain the various components of the magneto ignition system that you'll find on a typical outboard motor. Um, this is before the modernized electronic systems computerized before capacitive discharge CD ignition. Um, this is where you basically have a magneto points, coils, condensers, and that's 100% of the system. Uh, the way this system works is there is a magnet inside of the flywheel that sits on top of the motor. And this magnet, as the motor is going around and around, you'll see this is not magnetized on this side, but this, this side is. So as the flywheel is spinning around and around, it is rotating about the fields of the coils. So there's two coils, this is a two-cylinder motor, so there's two coils and it's spinning around and around, it's generating a field of current. Um, and that's energizing the ignition. You have two sets of points, one for each cylinder. And you can see here that uh, this is from a 1961 Johnson outboard, and I've got a 1958 down here. It's identical to it. Uh, the points are the same. So the points, when they open and close, they make contact here, and the other points for the other cylinder open and close on the other side. Bottom side of this. You have two plug wires coming in. The two plug wires come in, one for each cylinder. Uh, you also have your, your grounding wires. So these wires are to basically shut off the ignition. When you kill the ground, I'm sorry, when you, when you, when you push the, the shut off button, it, it grounds both, both coils out and they, they don't fire. So um, on this, in this system, you have a set of points and the condenser and the coil. The coil is what generates the power. The points is what turns it on and off. The condenser uh, is, a, is a way of absorbing power within the field so that when this switch opens, when the points open, it doesn't continue to arc. That's all the condenser does is it just controls the, the arc that tries to re retain when the points open up. But the points, all they are is a big on-off switch, period. They're just if it's closed, the circuit's closed. If it's open, then the circuit's open. So it just goes on and off with each each uh, uh, round this, of the of rotation, firing the cylinders once per revolution. I've got a new set of innards for my magneto setup. I've got two new coils and new plug wires. I ran new new ground wires. Show you how this is this is hooked up. So plug wire comes in from the bottom of this one the same as it does for the one on the top. So the one on the top, I just have it out there so you can see when you get a plug wire, it's just going to look like this. You'll get another coil and the coil will have an end that receives the wire and it's simple. It's as simple as just shoving one into the other and you shove it in until it seats and then you bolt it down. There are multiple wires in here. They're all very, very, very simple. Uh, the coil the coil has to have a ground, so the coil, this, this is the ground wire for the coil, then its field wire is here, the field wire goes to the, to the points. The condenser, its wire goes to the points. The kill wire goes to the points. You have one, two, three wires in the points, and then your coil is grounded to itself, to ground to the body, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing to these things. There's a gear on the top of the, on the top of the crank that as it goes around and around, it's, uh, it's opening the points and then it goes 180 degrees, it opens the other points. 180 degrees opens it, opens it, opens it, opens it, opens it, so on and so forth. On the plate, what's not mounted on this plate yet, is you have ignition advance. So um, combustion efficiency in, a, in, a, um, in an engine is lost with speed. So at a lower RPM, you want less of an advance. At a higher RPM, you need to give the spark time to travel to combust the fuel in the, in the cylinder. So there is an advance that there's a cam follower that goes on, it's on the front of the block. So here's the block, this cam follower, this basically follows this. And you have the, what's controlling the advance is right here at the throttle. This is, this is connected to the carburetor. You set this such that when the throttle just starts to crack, this starts to move so that these two are synchronized. And when this goes around and it advances, there's a mechanism here, 
That's the that's the advance arm. All of this synchronizes so that you have a retarded timing ignition at idle and at low RPM, and then the faster and faster and faster you turn it, the more that this rotates above the block underneath the flywheel to advance the timing. That's pretty much it. This doesn't require a battery to operate. Um, it generates its own power through the magnet, the magnet in the field of the coils. It couldn't be um, more simple. So if you've got a problem with your ignition, if you don't have fire in the, on an old magneto point system, it's going to be either the coil, the condenser, or the points, or a wire connect, or a connection, uh, a bad connection. Nine times out of ten, it's a bad ground. Uh, you can get oil or film or debris or gree anything in here, and and if it keeps this system from all making contact with one another, then you're liable to lose your your continuity. And if you lose that, then you've lost spark or you have weak spark. But other than that, that's it. Coil, condenser, points. One set for one cylinder, another set for another cylinder. That's it. So, hope this helps someone.